Isis. Dear beloved ones, greetings. I speak to you today with so much love and excitement to share so much with you as you stand now at a gateway that is springing up from inner earth. The gateway we speak of is the fruition of all your earthbound contracts. We are aware that almost all of you who listen to me are now becoming most adept at utilizing your inherent abilities and using these for the betterment of humankind. Field shifts into the new sphere of living are now transpiring each Earth Day that you experience on physical aspects of you that you are now uncovering. It feels like time since you descended into cloaks of flesh. This is happening as I speak and also as I speak this system of worlds and stars is returning to full light that is inherent in all of you. Drop all concepts of time and embrace the ever-present moment. This is only true reality. Many of you think ahead to the new earth. We smile because we jostle you and let you know gently that the new earth is an ever-present reality at the center of your being. The ascension process is an energetic actualization of the truth that is of a diamond nature that sits at the seat of your heart. All stars are speaking to you currently. Each star present in your galaxy contains a quality of the Creator that is an inherent aspect of your path. It is not long now before your field shifts will have completed themselves for all time and you will simply know and witness that the land of dreams is manifest before your eyes. We are aware that many are playing the waiting game. This is okay also, for all is honoured by the deep source at the core of your heart. You are playing strong and bold and you are proving that you are the hearts who have gone where none have dared to venture before. A new world is taking shape on this physical earth. It is deeply subtle and it is for those who have eyes to see, as the old saying goes, and of course have the heart to feel also. The new earth is the land of the heart. It is the greatest playground and fruition of so many hopes and dreams. It is vital to be aware that you are creating this ever-present reality with your powerful moment-to-moment -moment choices. Drop your judgments of yourselves and simply rest and play in the river that knows no end. The time is well at hand where you laugh and play in the river of your dreams. All essences on new earth and throughout creation are rooting for the change that completes the necessity for duality on this earth. Know this and feel it in your heart. Your heart is an ocean, just as it is a lotus, being peeled back layer by layer to blossom into even greater treasure. 
Your world is groaning in its nature as the systems are gradually being realigned with the agenda of the new earth. The core of your earth is fragmented as its essence splits apart to rid itself of the discordant agenda and it thus remakes itself in the perfection of divine clarity. You all experience moments in your day where you may experience a certain ease with the planet. We are speaking if one is particularly focused on working with Earth's individual. The movements would not be the same if they are in the here and now. When a river is flowing through its base, it can flow for ages without having any effect. But the stone takes care of the change of the flow. And look, by the change the water can reach a house that maybe was at a distance from the river. And where the dwellers painted for water Without the stone, the water would never have reached the house. How important the water may be, without the stone, the water never would have reached its destination. Being the refreshment of the thirsty, you are all stones and can alter the base of the river so that everyone who is thirsty can and may be refreshed. The value has always been granted merely by your present, dear ones. And as a stone sometimes has to be displaced, so it can be you have to be displaced. There are moments in which the stone can better work in other places. It is similar with you, dear ones. Sometimes your function can be better brought into action in other places in the moment, in time and in the universe. So during these times of change on your planet, remember to practice this stillness activity as much as you can. We have said this many times before, but it is even more important now. Turn your attention towards us and we will stabilize you so you remain peaceful and joyful throughout your day. Do not try to do this all on your own. It is time to collaborate with us as we are the sources of which you crave. Too often you deplete your own reserves. Replenish yourselves in us, beloved child help is at hand and it is only a thought away. Your earth is expanding to new levels of light, awareness as Mother Earth eases off on her old grooves of collective consciousness. If you could but realize the great service that Earth has undertaken in courting your awareness for the earth voyage, you will never again be requesting to undertake such a voyage. The tapestries of timelines are healing and returning to oneness. The golden unicorns of Aragorn, keepers of the sacred seals, are dragging heartbeams of collective awareness to the four corners of the planet. The new earth has now entered your awareness. She or he is so much more than an idle perception. It is currently shaping your contracts for all that is yet to come. The earth has officially begun her new voyage to the higher states of collective awareness. Humanity is courting their own highest aspiration in dream states 
but these beautiful designs have yet to filter down to a cognitive collective awareness level. It is time of all kings and queens working, walking the earth. Mother Earth's collective light body pieces all dreams and illusions. Know that you are all the voice for a changing world that is now con continuously binding its centre on a collective level. Earth will continue to transform into the new Jerusalem. This is a highly gradual and subtle shift in collective awareness. All is being remade as one. Your collective birthright is being restored through your growing experience. Your collective path to ascension could have been so much more enjoyable and you might say plain sailing. Plain sailing, that's for sure. You have, however, been distracted and even mislaid by events occurring around you, accepting the fact that duality will always bring the opposites together. Often allow it in drops all your concepts regarding how it may appear to you. It is already there and you're already home. You will feel constant reshaping occurring in the current coming times as the quickening deepens. It is an unstoppable force that now governs the active workings of your planet. Rest easy and know that we are constantly by your side. Oneness grows ever stronger in your conscious awareness as the sand in your eyes falls away. You have our eternal gratitude and ad admiration and respect. And yes, we will speak again very soon. I am Isis, always at your service with love, always keeping you up to date as your journey continues to your new home. Thank you so much for being here today. And I also, Rosalie, thank you for being here today. Namaste.